Come to Christmas with Doyle Dykes and Sweetwater. Christmas with Doyle Dykes at Sweetwater, brought to you by Gill Guitars, and boy, these are fine orange amplifiers, and we're just going to be showing off some tonight. This is a Gill F55 right out of the box. I mean, wow, this is incredible, and uh, reminds me of Merle Travis. <laughs> folks. This is Doyle Dykes for Gill Guitars and Sweetwater Orange Amplifiers. We're going to have a great night. I'm going to be playing some uh, other guitars, be playing some guitars that I've uh, had, uh, one that I've had for a very long time. And even on my Christmas record, we have uh, Gill Guitars right there. And uh, so I've been a Gill man for a long, long time. So let's just have some fun tonight. Well, this may not be a Christmas song to a lot of folks, but I think to you guitar players, especially with being at Sweetwater, I think you'll get it. <laughs> Started 
back in 65, that's when I first realized I wanted to do something for my Lord. Just like my daddy and my Uncle Smitty, I love guitars that sounded so pretty and I knew that's just what I was looking for. My first guitar was a silver tone, I wore my fingers to the bone, it played so hard my fingers got so sore. But I knew the guitar was for me, it was bound to be my destiny. Ever since that time I've been guitar poor. I'm guitar poor, guitar poor. Oh Lord, won't you help me? I'm guitar poor. Guitar poor, guitar poor. Lord have mercy on the guitar poor. Oh yeah. You and me. I got flat tops, arch tops, steel string, gut strings, hollow body, hollow body, six string, twelve string, acoustic, electric, and resonators and more. I got cutaways, on cutaways, over cutaways, flame tops, gold tops, jumbos, dreadnoughts, double loss, triple loss. Man, I'm guitar poor. Guitar poor. Guitar poor. Oh Lord, help me. I'm guitar poor. Guitar poor. Guitar poor. Lord, have mercy on the guitar poor. Knows me pretty well, I guess. I was mopping the floors and making the beds, and she knew I was up to something for sure. I ran outside of my pickup truck. We know it's just my luck. She says, I know you're headed down to Sweetwater Music Store. There's just one thing I should have grabbed first that checkbook that was in the purse. She stood there just a waving it at the door. I said, Come on, honey, now, baby, please just give me the checkbook so I can leave. She says, Doyle Dykes, how many guitars do you need? I said, well, just one more. Guitar poor, guitar poor. Oh, Lord, help me, I'm guitar poor. Guitar poor, guitar poor. Lord, have mercy on the guitar poor. Come on. Sweetwater for making us guitar poor. <laughs> guitar rich, actually. Oh, we love Sweetwater so much. I, I'll tell you what, the guys here, Wayne Davis, of course I can say him, he's been my sales engineer for a long, long time. I've known you, uh, Wayne for years, and of course I know Chuck, I know the Thad, I know the, uh, all the guys, that, you know, John, and uh, they're just a great bunch of guys, but when I buy something, I go right through uh, my uh, sales engineer. He has bailed me out of so many times. I need something, Wayne. I need it right now. Help me out. You know, whether it's recording equipment or new guitar for my son, Caleb, and uh, or my grandkids now. So uh, they've been a real blessing. And speaking of kids, I mean, I got this guitar here when I was a kid. I was I was 14 years old. Of course, through time, you know, you you got to be like everybody else. You can monkey with it and change pickups. And here's this is an old Gill pickup here. But... Uh, <laughs> Then you have the DeArmond pickup. And that's both of them together. And uh, I mean, you know, this is a 1961 and it's still in uh, great shape. I had it for years and years and years. And uh, I sold it to another guy, and uh, Alan Sayers was his name. And it's funny, when I uh, started working with Guild again a few years back, 
uh, I was thinking, I wonder what happened to that old Gill guitar. And that very day, that very day, Alan contacted me, said, if you ever want your old guitar back, you just let me know it's yours. Of course, I traded him another guitar and an amplifier that I had and, and got this old guitar back. So I'm really, really, really happy with it. And uh, let's see what else we can do with this. Mistakes and all, but that's a lot of fun. I had to hear what just this uh, pickup sounded like. But Gil has been making uh, guitars for uh, many, many years, and they're doing a great job. And I have another one here that I want to play for you that's uh, right out of the box. Wow, what a beautiful guitar, the X175. This is one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen. It has a spruce top, the dearmed pickups. Oh, what a gorgeous guild. I've been wanting to play one of these for a while. Let's see what it sounds like on some Christmas music. Now, I usually have a band on this song, but... <laughs> on 
tourner en guerre. The X-175, what a gorgeous guitar. Uh, it reminds me of, of Dwayne Eddy, and Dwayne used to do this. I used to wonder how he did that. How do you? But he does it like this. The, the reason I know that is because I was on the Grand Ole Opry with him one time, and Chet Atkins was on the show. They called it Guitar Man Night, and they called and said, would you mind being on, do, do me a favor, would you mind being on the Grand Ole Opry with Chet Atkins and Dwayne Eddy? I said, is that a trick question? And uh, Dwayne, when he walked out, the, the crowd went crazy. Of course they did with Chet Atkins. And, uh, but when Dwayne walked out with a beautiful Gill guitar, and it was based after this very guitar here, it reminds me so much of him. Well, just having fun with Gill guitars at Christmas.
right out of the box, folks. You can't beat a, a, a Gill 12 string guitar for Christmas. I mean, uh, too, it's a, it's a wonderful time of the year to be playing the guitar, be playing music. And I encourage you folks to to play at your church or your synagogue or go play for someone in your family, someone uh, perhaps who has been sick and uh, and create some cheer, create some happiness. And, and it's a great thing, great thing. What a, an amazing guitar, the Gill F512, amazing. A beautiful little Cordoba guitar. I never played this until now. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the only thing I don't like about that song is uh, it's called The Little Drummer Boy. And I thought, you know, why couldn't they have called it The Little Guitar Player Boy? And I thought, well, if you can't beat them, join them, you know, so... Uh, my best for him on the chord of a guitar.
what a beautiful guitar. Never even picked up this Cordoba guitar before. And uh, I went a second round on the course. Um, you know, we're just friends here. Um, but when you have a great guitar in your hands and you feel a good song and you feel something there, sometimes you just don't want to quit. And so I went another round on it. And uh, oh, holy night. This has been a great time for me. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. Well, hi folks, I'm uh, ending up with what I started with. With my Jumbo Gill guitar, this is uh, this is one of the, I think, finest guitars. It's like a flagship for Guild, the Jumbo, and the and with the uh, all maple. I mean, this is just a, a great guitar. This is an F55, and it has LR Bags pickup system in it. And the way they make their necks, I mean, uh, with the uh, a laminated neck here, uh, this adds more uh, rigidness to the neck and draws more out of the top which and it has this huge top it's like a grand piano and it is a, a joy to play and this one does not have a cutaway of course uh, cutaways do sound different I mean you take that that's prime real estate a, friend, a good friend of mine told me a long long time ago well, I'll tell you who it was it was Bob Taylor and Bob and I are, are real good friends. And so with uh, with this full body guitar, I mean, I, I think a non cutaway is just perfect. It's, it's just been a lot of fun tonight. I, uh, I would like also to uh, show you, this was a, a signature guitar that I had a few years ago, also with Guild. And uh, so I have been in the Guild family for a long, long time. I, uh, uh, when I was a Grandpa Jones, uh, back in the 70s, Grandpa was uh, from Hee Haw and he was a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. And I played a, a Gill guitar also on stage with him at the Grand Ole Opry. And so uh, I, I feel like I'm home here tonight. I'd like to end up with something that I uh, want to dedicate to my dad. You know, because uh, Christmas is a great time of year, but at the same time, you know, people think about people that they've lost in the past, you know, and, and we all have. And my father was a great guitar player. I miss him so much. And uh, with all the things going on, I remember one time my, my wife gave me this tree. We've been married 47 years. I, mean, I have four kids, five grandkids. I'm a family guy. You couldn't have found a better uh, guy to do Christmas. I'm a tart for Christmas, let me tell you. Uh, if, uh, the only difference if I had a big white beard and a red suit, but uh, I'm the guy. I just love Christmas. I love what it's about. And uh, my wife gave me this tree one time. It looked like a cactus, and it, it, it like this, but it had lights all over it. It was a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas cactus tree. I still have it. And I keep it in my guitar room at Christmas. And uh, one time we were about to go to dinner, and, and one of the arms fell like this. And uh, and she was saying to me, uh, "Well, honey, we're all out in the car waiting." I said, "I'll be right there," and I had my t-shirt on, you know, and I was sweating, and I was trying to fix the arm of my cactus tree. And she said, well, honey, uh, you can do it when you get back. I said, I almost have it. She said, well, I didn't give that to you to be a burden, but a blessing. She said, I knew you'd like that, but I didn't give it to you to be a burden, but a blessing. And I'll never forget that. When I was, and she, I said, well, I'll be there in just, uh, just a moment. And when she left, I'm thinking, you know, uh, we don't have Christmas to be a burden, but a blessing. And it's a great time. It's a great time for giving, for sharing, not only going through the uh, Sweetwater catalog or website and finding you're a new guitar or, or whatever it might be, but also to be able to give and to give of your time and to give of your talents. And, and so it wasn't meant to be a burden, but a blessing. So I hope you'll be a blessing. And by that, you'll receive a blessing in your life. This is the last thing my daddy ever heard me play.
enjoyed this Christmas night with the uh, Doyle Dykes from Sweetwater. Special thanks to Gil Guitars, also Orange Amps, and uh, the Trim Lord 30, and also the Acoustic Crush Acoustic. All these guitars in Cordoba, we've had a great time. Thanks especially to the crew. God bless you folks, and keep Sweetwater, keep, the, keep that catalog handy, because you're going to need it this Christmas. <laughs>